My next guest has observed there is one thing all parents have in common, and that is stress. The cure, he says, is in a parent reset of sorts. Studio 5 contributor Dr. Matt Townsend is here with five steps that will increase peace oh. in parenting. Now, peace, peace and parenting, we don't often no. hear those two words used together. And isn't that weird? Because isn't that why we had these beautiful children? I don't think so. To bring them from <laughs> heaven, to just slowly suck the life out exactly, of us. Exactly, that's more we like want, it. We want peace. And so this, this time of year, it's a perfect time to reset. Like, let's just reset as a parent. Reset what? Our mentality? Uh -huh, the way we think, the way we feel, what we do, and what we're becoming. Let's literally figure out how we're going to think about parenting, what we're going to feel about parenting, what we're going to do, not do, and what we're going to try to become as a parent. And I do, I agree with you. It's a great time. We're midpoint in the summer season. Moms yeah. are feeling the frazzle. Oh, yeah. We are burned out mm -hmm. trying to keep kids entertained. Yeah. And peace is missing. Right. So the key to bringing it back, you say, kind of spills out in these in these five steps. You say a lot of the stress we feel is actually our fault, that it comes down oh, yeah. to expectations that are, in your words, yep. out of whack. You should be perfect. Good mothers do everything for their children. <laughs> that's, that's an expectation. Or you have an expectation of what kind of parent you want to be, and your child has an expectation of what kind of parent you should be. So if you want to kind of de-stress, then you got to manage the expectation. And instead of trying to be everything, what if we could just be a few things? So if, if you had to narrow down, and this is the activity, is narrow down of all the things you could be as a parent, what are the two things you really want to be? Just two. Just find two. Like if you, what you really want to be is to help your child find peace or find themselves uh -huh. or gain confidence, then that's one thing. Okay, let's let them gain their confidence. I want to be the kind of parent that grows confidence. I want to be the kind of parent that makes my children uh, be in a place where they're independent and can move on without me. And is this a lasting two-word commitment? Uh -huh. Is this changing month to it month? It might change, but honestly, if you get down to like the most important thing you want to be as a parent, once you get to those kind of final few things, it's pretty gold, and it, it, I bet it won't change very much. And so why that's important is think then too, what do you want from your children? What are the two things you really expect from your children. And instead of having everything, I expect straight A's, good, you know, skills, talent, nice, uh, what are they? Do you want a respectful child? If that's one of the things, then let's make that a major outcome that we're looking for. I want children that are respectful and that um, accept and love others. Mm. There's two things. Can I put you on the spot yeah. from the parenting perspective? What's one of your things that you set out to do as a dad? Honestly, I, I want my children to know that there's, oh, that, that there's, power in my life, in their life, to do whatever they want to do with their life. I want to like model that they can be anything they want to be. Empowerment. Yeah. But I, and I also want them to know that there aren't excuses. So that to me is all kind of one thing. Mm -hmm. You can't just use your genetics or your history or what's happened to you as the out. Mm -hmm. You can be anything you want to be. And so in my mind, I constantly am thinking, how can I empower them to be more of what they need to be? All right, expectations, that's step one. Yeah. You say instant parenting peace can come if you focus on really knowing your child. Yep. We're so, I think, worried because there's so many things that could go wrong in the world. And by the way, all of our kids are so different. But the, one of the fa fastest ways I've ever found peace is getting into the one child. Mm -hmm. So if I'm worried about a child, get into that one child and go deeper with them understand their motives don't assume their motives try to figure out how they think what they think and I've noticed just by being present with another with a child or any other being mm -hmm. I start to actually feel less anxious I start to actually get to know them better. I start to see that there really are good motives in this child. They just like to come home late. But here's the anxiety. Let's say I have six children. Yeah. Or let's say, I mean, hypothetically speaking, I have three under three. Yeah, yeah, like, that's how right. do you multiply that investment or that presence? So, what's the irony is then I can't really go get present with all of them, mm -hmm. but I can start to say, this week, I really want to focus in on two of them. Got and it. really get to know the two of them. And then take those two and then get to know two d d in a different way. You'll notice as our kids go through stages, they're kind of staging out. We have one right now that's about to go on an LDS mission. So he's going to get a lot of our attention right now. And the neat thing is when he's gone, we're going to end up going back to the others and they're going to start getting attention. So we kind of move them up in stages. But all we need to do is one at a time at any given time. We can't always do all of them at every time. You believe that stressed out parents at the root of it yeah. are fearful parents. We're very fearful. We just went to see our beautiful daughter, our granddaughter, Claire, graduate in a way from her little gym class. Claire. She's two and a half years yes. old, right? And they just put her on little beams and they walk her across the beam <laughs> and then she jumps off. But I, as I'm watching it, I'm thinking, holy cow, we're paying money to have people hold our kids' hands 
to jump on padded things. <laughs> and I thought, I never once jumped on a padded thing. I would jump on a hard thing until I fell and got hurt. And I didn't pay anybody right? to watch Do you remember like playing on the monkey bars and they were scalding hot? Oh, that metal thing yeah. that went so uh -huh. fast, we'd literally yeah. fly off. Like, and you seriously, you knew you would die. But we used to do it, and we used to do it without our parents knowing. And when we flew off, most of the time there wasn't a parent around right. to pick us up. We need to allow our children to explore. We need to let them fall. We need to let them get slivers. We need to let them experience life. So one of the excitements here is intentionally let your kids be kids. Mm -hmm. Let them try stuff. Our son called from his uh, senior trip saying, yeah, all my friends are going to go skydiving. <laughs> well, that's the call oh. every parent wants to and get. And we were terrified, like, are you going to do it? Would you like to do it? I'd love to do it. But he was underage. Thank heavens, because we would have lost it. So at some point, we just got to let them go. And the earlier we teach them that we can let them go, the earlier we're teaching them that they're strong enough to handle this. In pursuit of more peace, you really want parents to study their craft. Yeah. In other words, get skilled, get yeah. educated about the actual act of parenting. A lot of us have a problem that we run into in parenting, and we don't know what to do. So then what we do is we just kind of forget about it, and we go somewhere else. But what if you actually started learning this skill? What if you started reading and studying? Then instead of having only two ways to discipline your children, you could have eight. Eight different ways, different models, options. different ideas, options. And by the way, when we have more options, you have, in a way, more freedom and peace because you might be able to find a, a, an option that works for this one that wouldn't work for this one. If you've only got two options, discipline or not, mm. you're in trouble. You want more freedom, more peace, then study, learn, grow. There's tools, they're abundant out there. There's blogs, there's websites, there's podcasts. Start learning how to parent. I love that. I found this last exercise, this last step. Yeah. To, to sounds really calming in my brain and in my heart to really go back to your own needs yep. as a child in pursuit of That's peace right. in your parenting role. How you were parented influences how you parent. Sure. So one of the great tools you could do is be the kind of parent you needed as a child. Think about what you needed. Were you a, parent, a child that needed more parenting? Or were you a child that needed less parenting? Were you a child that needed more friendship, more understanding? And try to dial into that pain or that fear that you felt as a kid. What did you need? And see if you can't start bringing answers to those issues with your children. Then I think it'll feel more natural to how you're parenting. I love that. And you won't just automatically revert to fear. Sure. Or just laissez-faire, whatever, do whatever you want to do. Right. Somewhere in between is the parent you need to be. And by the way, each child, let them influence you. What does this child need from me? And this is what I needed. How do I relate to that child? And we can probably find some better answers. Just the study, just the purposeful approach. I mean, yeah. I have two kids that are very different. I can totally. already tell. Yeah. Personalities, and you have different yeah. personalities in your home, too. And just that purposeful approach, I think, gives peace in oh, and of itself. Oh, isn't it so awesome? Love Parenting's it, awesome if you kind of get out of the way. Sure. Right? Sure. Hey, speaking of tools and resources and becoming a stronger, better parent, you have an awesome online we workshop. Did it. We did it. So we did a four-hour workshop on how it's called Parent's Guide to Raising Resilient and Independent Children. It's four hours long. It's online right now. Right now awesome. you can go download it you and your spouse can watch it together and it teaches you a bunch of different tools to actually get resilient ch children but more importantly get them independent of you so they can move on you can kiss them goodbye and they'll still come back I love it that's over at matttownsend.com we'll link you from our website yeah. and the proof is in this these gorgeous these kids sitting over kids, here aren't they hey handsome? Townsend yeah. this is like a family field trip yeah it really is we're, I love it we're taking a bus this we're is so fun thank you very fun Thanks, Matt Brick. we appreciate it